What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys what's needed in order to obtain the Touch of Malice, this incredible looking scout rifle. Now the quest for this weapon starts when you find your first calcified fragment on that dreadnought. Once you have, Eris Morn will have a quest for you where you have to find five more of these fragments which are hidden around on that dreadnought. This quest I believe triggers the quest for the swords with Lord Shax. Now after finding five fragments I do believe nothing happens with the continuation of the Touch of Malice quest. I think this quest triggers once you have found 15 fragments. Now these calcified fragments are a major part of this quest. To find out which ones you have and don't have I'd suggest using the playlist linked in that video description. As the dude these videos in this playlist belong to basically runs through every location of these calcified fragments. And I'll also link a reddit post I found which notes all individual fragments and the information on them. It was these two things I used to help find the ones I had missing. Now once 15 fragments have been obtained Eris Morn will have a quest for you called Hunger Pangs. This quest requires you to defeat the Taken Centurion at the bottom of the salt mine in the Bunker War 14. Once you have done this, the next step in this quest involves the raid. The quest is called the Old Hunger, which only triggers with Eris Morn once you have loaded into the raid. So I suggest you load into the raid, back out, go see Eris Morn, pick up the quest and load back into the raid to continue the quest. Also fragments needed for the quest are located in the raid, so use the links in the video description to locate them. Otherwise you'll have to run half the raid again just to find these fragments. So you have the next quest line when you load it out of the raid and back in, so what's next? You have to obtain three different items from the raid. The first is called the Blade of Famine, which drops from the War Priest. You then need the Shroud of Ear and Nook, which drops from the Death Singers, and then you need the Ravenous Heart, which drops from Oryx. After acquiring each item, Eris Morn then asks you to collect 25 Worm Spore, 50 Hadean Flakes, and 50 Weapon Parts. Now I have a great Hadean Flake farming spot which I'll link in the video description if you guys do need them Hadean Flakes. What's not stated in this part of the quest though is you'll need to collect or have collected 30 fragments for this quest to continue. Once you've done this head back to Eris Morn and the quest continues. Next you have to do the Undying Mine Strike. Now what happens here is in the main fight against the Undying Mine once his health is at a certain percentage Morgath the Law Keeper, which is a target you need to destroy, spawns to the right of the room. Destroy him to continue the quest. You don't have to complete the strike, so you can back out after this point. Another thing you'll have to do, which isn't stated in this part of the quest, you'll have to find 45 fragments for this quest to continue, which is pretty time consuming, trying to figure out which ones you have missing. Now you can see when you're in orbit on that dreadnought, you can see how many fragments out of 50 you have. Once you have 45 fragments, head back to Eris Morn for the final part of this quest. Here you have to turn to the base on Phobos and kill the wizard, which will spawn after getting an Echo of Oryx's health down to a certain amount. I would suggest getting a few friends to help you here as this can be pretty hard. But once you have killed the wizard, you can back out and head back to Eris Morn. What she will have waiting for you is the Touch of Malice, which is this insane looking exotic scout rifle. Probably the most unique looking weapon in the game to date. You can see it offers 310 attack. It requires you to be a level 30 to wield it and it has some pretty insane perks. The first perk is called the Touch of Malice. The final round of the magazine regenerates and deals bonus damage at the cost of the wielder's life force, which is a really interesting perk. It has Eye of the Storm, the weapon becomes more accurate as your health gets lower, and then it has Touch of Mercy. Three rapid kills with this weapon will return a portion of the wielder's health. Now looking further into that Touch of Malice perk, basically the last bullet goes on forever, but each shot takes down a portion of your health. How much you'll see here, now in PvE, the last bullet deals double the damage, but in PvP, it deals like more of a 50% increase. Now with the Touch of Malice's last bullet, on full health, you can fire it 32 times before you die on the 33rd. But obviously, an increase in armor may give you an extra few shots. The Eye of the Storm perk works reasonably well, but in my opinion, 
Not as great as it should do. Now the Touch of Mercy perk is great when you're letting rip on a group of enemies. And although it says you need to land 3 rapid kills, it ain't as rapid as you may think. Now after using the Touch of Malice for about 5 hours, I think it's a great all round weapon. I'm curious to see how this thing works against Oryx when you're in that aura of immortality. And I'm sure to find out next week. Also as well, this weapon is full auto which it doesn't state. Secret perk confirmed, you heard it here first. Another thing I thought I'd drop in, the three items obtained from the raid, the Blade of Famine, the Shroud of Anuk and the Ravenous Heart. If you look closely, each is a piece of the Touch of Malice. Pretty obvious when you look at it, but guys that is it, that is how you get the Touch of Malice. If you enjoyed the video, if you could leave a like, I would appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Get it right.